Alaskan crab legs. You see these at a party, you know you're eating well. Today we're gonna take these and we're gonna take the idea of lobster rolls and we're gonna bring them together. To make good lobster rolls, as you've seen in my lobster roll video, which if you haven't seen, I'll leave a link down below. It involves killing a lobster to get the freshest possible lobster roll possible. And I don't personally enjoy doing that. And it's a little bit more labor intensive. Why do I wanna make them with these? Because I don't have to kill anything. I don't really have to cook anything. These come cooked and frozen already. All you have to do is defrost them in the refrigerator, get them soft, reheat them, and then flavor them. Super easy, easy for a barbecue or anything like that, Memorial Day, 4th of July. However, they are a little bit more expensive than lobster. These guys are a little bit prized. They're so big, right? Imagine this is their leg. Imagine how big the thing is, right? It's gotta be huge. And these aren't even colossal king crab legs. Colossal king crab legs run about like 35, 40 dollars a pound. These are closer to 20. The colossal are better. So if you, if you got the money, get the colossal, otherwise, these will do just fine. Basically just gonna heat them up in butter and make lobster rolls the same way we would normally. Just a quicker process, a little easier, and in my opinion, crab legs, and particularly the Colossal King crab legs, are like lobster, but much, much better. Meat is pretty incredible. So if you've never tried these guys and you like lobster, or if you don't like lobster, you should still try these. This might be a hidden gem that you are insanely in love with. Then of course I got my split top buns. You need that, butter the sides, toast them, brown them up, perfection. I've got some chives, which I'm gonna sprinkle on top and just chop a few of them, maybe about that much. And then I just have a little dusting that I like to put on top of it that's inspired by Luke's lobster. So I'm just gonna go like a teaspoon of thyme, teaspoon of oregano, <laughs> teaspoon of celery salt, a little bit less celery salt than the other two. Just eyeball it, it's rough. Black pepper, and then a little salt. And just blend that up to a fine powder. Now is an easy part. We just gotta cut open these shells and remove all of the meat. So just stick your knife, stick your fork, stick whatever this is, a scissor, in the bottom and just start cutting. Just be careful, these things are sharp. Use a towel if you need to. And then just start to pick out all the meat. You wanna make sure you get that little spine kind of thing out of there as well. You don't wanna eat that. So this is about a pound of shelled king crab legs. Enough for one big crab roll or two smaller ones. That's a good gauge on uh, purchasing, depending on how much you need to buy. And you can always do some lobster rolls and some crab rolls, which is always fun. We're gonna make them the same exact way as we do lobster. Now we just have to butter the rolls. We got some nice softened butter here. So we're just gonna butter our rolls pretty generously. Now all that's left to do is toast the buns, cook the crab in butter, put the roll together, and that's that.
This is summer in a bun, man. It's fresh, it's light, it's delicious, it's satisfying. It still has this rich butteriness to it while still being light. I don't know what else to say. Pretty sure this was meant for Memorial Day, 4th of July, any sort of party like that. It's easy to make, it's fun for people to eat, something that's usually very indulgent, but people will really appreciate it if you go the extra mile and do some lobster rolls or some crab rolls. And that's how you make crab rolls. So I realized something the other day when all of these new subscribers came in and my Cacio Pepe video took off is that YouTube likes when I make traditional Italian pasta dishes. So as an experiment to see if I get more subscribers by doing it, coming up I'm doing a traditional Roman pasta series to follow up on my Cacio Pepe video. So look for that in the coming days and weeks. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks to all my patrons. Appreciate you all. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. That's all I have today. I'll see you next week. Until then, Take care of yourself and go feed yourself.